Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a MIDI continuous controller input filter in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a synth. And it's set up to be a pad. But there's one thing I don't like about this sound. If I put too much pressure on the keys, it adds a filter to the sound, which is being triggered by aftertouch or channel pressure. So if I push really hard, it creates continuous controller information in MIDI. And it looks like this if we record it. Now, if we like that effect, it's fine. But if we don't, we don't want to record it on the way in. And it's going to accidentally record every time we play the synth. Now, we could always delete it afterwards, right over here. But it's still going to affect my performance. And it's a lot quicker to filter it on the way in. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the way to filter this is to add a plugin on the input effects right over here. And we could search down here, MIDI. And we could choose the plugin called MIDI Note Filter. Now this plugin is typically used to filter our notes on the low end or the high end. But it could also filter a continuous controller information, which is what aftertouch or channel pressure is. By default, it's not going to pass that information through. So if we record it, it doesn't record that information, which seems to have fixed our problem. But it's also filtering all the continuous control information on this track, not just pressure. So if I set this to yes, it's going to pass it all through. So we can record pitch bend, mod wheel, and channel pressure, and anything else we want to send. But if we set it to no, it's not going to pass any of that continuous controller information. So if we want to record pitch or my wheel, but not record the channel pressure, we can't do it with this plugin. But luckily, there is a plugin that will let us do this, although it doesn't come with Reaper. Let's go to a web browser, and let's type in Reaper Stash. And we can go to this website right here, and go to the search, and type in MIDI Filter. Then we could scroll down a bit and find the plugin MIDI Filter XL. Let's choose it and then let's download it from here. Then we'll go back to Reaper and go to the options menu and choose Show Reaper Resource Path. And that's going to open up this folder where the Reaper application is installed. Then we're going to find the effects folder. Open it up, then go to MIDI and open that up. And then go to our downloads, find the file we just downloaded, and drag it into this folder. And now it's installed in Reaper. So let's go back to Reaper, go to the input effects, and just in case, let's go down here and right click and choose Scan for New Plugins. Then we'll type in MIDI again. And we should be able to find the MIDI event filter XL. Open this up. And now this plugin will also filter a continuous controller information, but we can do it one by one. By default, it's not going to filter anything. So we can record any of them. Now 
but we can choose over here the MIDI channel for our filter. In this situation, we can just choose all and then choose the continuous controller we want to filter. We can just filter the pitch wheel right here. Now, if we record, it's not going to record the pitch wheel, even if we move it, but it's still going to record the other continuous controllers. So no matter what, it's not going to record the pitch wheel because it's filtering that on the way in. Or we could turn this filter off and just filter out the channel after touch or the channel pressure. And now we can record any continuous controller except channel pressure. We can do the same thing with the modulation wheel. We could turn back on the aftertouch by turning off the filter and choose a continuous controller over here. Now for this, we need to know the number of the continuous controller. The mod wheel is number one. So you could choose it right here. And now if we record, we can record pitch or aftertouch or anything else but not the modulation wheel. It's going to filter out those events. So we can get very specific about which controllers we record and which ones we don't. And we can do it all in this window, up to 28 of them, along with program change, channel aftertouch, polyphonic aftertouch, and our pitch wheel. So it's very flexible as to what continuous controller information we want to record. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a MIDI continuous controller input filter in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.